Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. It is that time of year again where we are gearing up for the holidays. So in today's video, I am going to share with you how I plan for the Christmas holiday. As everyone knows, Christmas is my favorite holiday and it takes me a while to plan because I do a lot of things and my budget is uh, quite extensive um, even though I try to stay as frugal as possible at all times but I want to show you how I use um, a binder as my Christmas planner and hopefully you'll get ideas um, you see the stickers here um, I love stickers um, so all you need all you would need is um, a one and a half or one inch binder stickers a printer and paper and a word document so you can print out your um, pages and you will also need a pencil pouch to keep all of your um, loose items in so I have um, return labels in here I have a pen to write and I also keep coupons or any pictures of things that I want to get that I've cut out of magazines that have come to my house in the mail so I keep them in here so that's proven to be pretty handy um, so here's my Christmas planner the first page is the big Christmas budget <laughs> And so this is how I track everything I do. So I have actually categorized. Let's see if I can zoom in. I've categorized each section of my binder, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each section, decide how much I'm going to spend, and then come back to this page and write it here and take notes. So this page I will fill in last after I've gone through each and every section of the book, but you can kind of see all the sections in advance here. This is my first section. This is the Christmas gift list. And here I've categorized them, this list into family, friends, co-workers, students, service workers, children, and anyone else I come in contact with. And so uh, what I plan on doing with the gifts is um, writing in all or typing in all of the gifts that I plan to give them there just to keep myself organized. Here uh, is my Christmas dinner menu. And this is our menu. It's pretty standard every year. We do this is all the things that my family loves to eat. So I just put them all in one menu. And behind the Christmas menu, I have the Christmas dinner shopping list. And so I categorize it in the food groups: meat, veggies, fruit, grains, grains continue, dessert, and drinks. And so on this side, I will uh, write all of the meats I need, all of the vegetables I need. And I will actually take this sheet with me to the grocery store and shop for what I need. And this space is just extra space just in case I need it. So this notebook is different from my Thanksgiving notebook. Um, if you go on my uh, channel, I have a Thanksgiving notebook as well. Uh, it's quite different in that I write into my Christmas notebook with a pen and my Thanksgiving notebook is pretty much the same so I type that in. So that's the difference. You'll see a lot of handwriting in here once I finish. Here are the um, stocking stuffers. So I do plan for these because every year I do keep stockings on the fireplace. And so these are my children. And my husband and my brother uh, I usually keep stockings for them every year on the fireplace so I have them here if I have extra money in the budget I also have um, stockings for my uh, nieces and nephews but we'll see because I have a large um, a very robust goal this year with the budget here is uh, my Christmas decor section of my book so what what goes 
in here is anything that I want to do that's new, that's different from the year before. I like um, something to be new during Christmas instead of putting up the same ornaments the same way every year. <laughs> so um, the way I want to track that is I cre created these boxes. And so if I find any clip art or any magazine pictures, I'm just going to paste them into the boxes for ideas. So I'm actually going to do that very soon. Here is my favorite uh, section of the notebook. It's Christmas activities and movies with my family. And I categorize this section into places to go. So do we want to go to a Christmas parade? Do we want to go to the Festival of Lights? Do we want to go um, to a special event um, like singing Christmas trees? So um, that's how I plan to do that. Um, movies to watch. We always watch Christmas movies. Our Christmas traditions. So I'll write our traditions here so we won't forget and we can ensure that we um, do these traditions every year. Crafts to do. What arts and crafts are we going to do around Christmas time? I always go on Pinterest to find great crafts. So I'll go on P Pinterest and then write these down here. The next section, oh, this is my favorite too. Oh, I think every section is my favorite. <laughs> it's my ugly Christmas sweater party planning section. And that sweater is pretty hideous. I love it. <laughs> um, so this is my party planning. And I do it in a checklist. And then I just check right here or write notes to um, when I complete it. So punch bowl invitations were sent out. So I'll just put a check here or any notes if I wanted to add more people, if I needed to add more people there. This is our menu for the party. As you can see, finger food, food people love to eat, fried chicken, devil eggs, a veggie plate, hot cocoa. And that's about it from me because all of my guests tend to bring side dishes as well. So that's enough food for our party. And then, um, at our ugly Christmas sweater party, we have activities for adults that I get from Pinterest. And we have activities for children that I get from Pinterest. So once I research those, I write those in. And this is uh, the section where I record all of the materials I need for these activities. I record them here because this tells me how much everything costs. And then music, check. I check that off when I have the music I want. And I usually uh, create a playlist. And awards for the ugly Christmas sweater. Okay, this is serious, so I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Uh, we have multiple awards all around ugliest sweater, most original, best matched couple sweater, the loudest sweater, the most outrageous sweater, the most likely to get arrested if seen in public sweater. Love that. The jolliest sweater, the scariest sweater, the most shameful sweater, the most festive sweater, and the opposite of an ugly sweater, the most fashionable. So those are awards. So I tend to figure out like if I'm going to give out um, buttons or uh, trophies or certificates. I don't know. Maybe certificates this year with um, medals for the top winners. Here, um, I put the decorations I need for the party. Here, I put parting gifts, usually like a little bag, hot chocolate bag with hot chocolate and a candy cane in there. Um, last year, I started a photo booth. It was a hit, so I am going to do that photo booth again. So getting my materials for the photo booth where people can instantly upload their photos to Facebook and Twitter and other, because I might think of something else. And I also have a Christmas Eve pajama party. This is for kids only. These are um, children of my close friends. Uh, every year they come over the day before Christmas in their pajamas. And they dance. And uh, they eat cookies and drink milk while um, sitting under the Christmas tree. And um, as I read, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And then they go home with their parents with their pajamas on, ready to go to bed for Christmas. This party is a joy to throw. So that is 
Christmas Eve. I call it the night before Christmas pajama party. And basically the same way I do the adult party, the ugly Christmas sweater party. I do the night before Christmas party. I have the menu, cookies, milk, and whatever else I plan. But those are essential, so I, I type those in. We have arts and crafts. That's big at our pajama party to keep them busy creating so they can leave with something to take home and maybe put on a Christmas tree an ornament or hang on their door or to wrap a gift in or to create a gift. That's always fun. Here are other activities, the story that I read, parting gifts for the children and other. In my family, there are a lot of birthdays in December and I have a lot of friends birthdays in December but in this section I do have my family's birthdays this is my husband my son these two are really big oh that's big too my mom oh that's big my sister Nina so yes all of these birthdays are in December and I have to plan their gifts along with Christmas and then this section is for me <laughs> this is the only section for me in the entire book. This is my, yes, I repeat, Lakeisha from Live Life Lovely, her Christmas list and my Christmas wishes. And so I list them here. Um, this is not only material stuff, but my wishes for um, this time of year, what I, what I would like to happen. For everyone to have joy, peace, and love, and everybody to live life lovely, whatever my wishes and lists are, that's just for me. And then lastly, well, next to last, I have addresses for Christmas cards. So uh, I tend to send Christmas cards out to everyone. I do every year pitch out on Facebook if someone wants me to send them a card. It don't have to be part of my family or my inner circle. I will send them a card. And that's been well. So behind here, I don't want to reveal people's addresses. But <laughs> behind this section, I have all of the addresses. And I add more and more every year. And I update if someone's moved. And finally, um, this, oh wow, I'm really excited about this. This is a charity that I am trying to start and make an official nonprofit organization called The Christmas Experience. And this came out of my love for Christmas and also from my um, experiences as a child. Um, growing up with uh, without a lot of money, um, the oldest of seven children we always struggle to have like a wonderful Christmas so um, now that I'm older and I have my own children and um, God has blessed me to be successful I want to give back to the community so I am starting a charity called the Christmas experience where we bless local children who um, are their families are struggling financially with what they need if they need toys Christmas trees food um, we are there to give it to them and I also give them a night before Christmas special box that they open up the night before Christmas and it has pajamas and a movie and um, hot chocolate in it so I'm really excited about this we have a GoFundMe account if you're interested in giving I will put the link to the GoFundMe account below in the YouTube channel so you can contribute any amount will suffice our goal this year is to raise eight hundred dollars last year we raised four hundred dollars and we blessed four children this year we've raised we want to raise eight hundred dollars to bless five children and we are working with a school so we are really excited and this is like a dream come true for me because it is something that is dear to my heart and um, i love giving so I'm happy about that. So, yes, there you have it. The official Christmas planner that Lakeisha does. And that's it. If you like this idea, please like below. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as one of my lovely people who follow me every week as I post. So, have a great time planning Christmas and a great Thanksgiving holiday, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, always ensure that you live life lovely because life is as lovely as you make it. Goodbye.